What's going on YouTube? I just wanted to make a quick tutorial to show you something that you can try if you are using a formula that had your greater than sign that just isn't working for some reason. So here we have an example equals count if tabs open parentheses the range is this area right here and I just want to count if it is greater than zero right close parentheses to finish out the formula and press enter. This is annoying right you get this annoying message there's a problem with this formula. I'm not trying to try to type a formula. Yes, I'm trying to type a formula. So just click OK. Um, go back to the formula. The thing that you can try is putting quotation marks around the conditionals. So putting quotation marks around like right before the greater than sign, right after the zero. Let's see if that'll work. As you can see, it did work. So, you know. I'm not going to say, I'm really, there's no guarantee that, that this will work, um, but something that you can try is to try to put quotation marks around the greater than sign and see if that'll work. Um, if you have multiples as well, it's so like for some reason you might be doing this, it might be like greater than zero or greater than this cell, and then the cell will just like look like text like this. Um, and try try throwing in like an and sign as well, and, and um, like that as well. So if you so try the intent is also as you can see what I did in this situation is I put quotation marks on the gradient sign. I use the and to separate this sign and then the cell that I was referencing. Um, that said I hope you found this quick tutorial to be helpful. I hope it helped you trouble to shoot your Excel formulas and if it doesn't help I'm I'm sorry, um, but you know, so like, 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 subscribe, and comment regardless. And let me let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. You'll have a great day. Thank you so much for watching.